Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. Today we are back with a new video and today's hair is provided by IBM Hair and that stands for I Define Natural. So today I'm going to be showing you this uh, curly like bob wig that they sent me today, okay? And it does feature a few clips inside the packaging. Of course, you get your stocking cap, a nice little rat tail comb, and of course the wig itself. And as I mentioned, this is a curly bob wig, full 13 by 4 parting space. Um, HD lace and of course the knots already come bleached and the hairline already come pre-plucked and also pre-styled uh, as a side part but for today I'm actually going to do a zigzag, uh, zigzag the middle uh, wig install with some two space buns um, you know at the top so we're going to jump straight into this video so off camera we already did the ball cap and what I did was went ahead and added the foundation inside of the lace and now we're going to just place the wig onto Mika's head, cut the extra from around the ears, and begin to lay our layers. So now that I cut the extra lace off this size, I'm going to begin to add my layers. And for her install today, I did do three layers of the adhesive. And for those who keep asking, the restock will be, the restock will be this week. So make sure you guys have your notifications turned on. I will not be setting a date. I just will be dropping the restock since the products are on hand. So be ready because it's going to be first come, first serve. Y'all know how it goes. We sell out fast. So make sure once again, guys, you guys do have your notifications turned on. And make sure you are um, following the uh, brand page, which is the BH Slay on Instagram. Now it's time to go ahead and place the lace into the glue. You just want to be very mindful of where you put the um, lace. Make sure you are putting the lace past the glue. That way you can make sure that the glue is not showing above your hairline. And once um, you get that into one place on one side, just go ahead and match the other side. And have them hold it down while you blow dry it with the heat setting and tie it down with the melt belt. So after letting that melt go set, I'm going to now go ahead and cut off the extra lace. I'm just going to start by parting the hair uh, down the center and just cutting everything off on one side and working my way on the other side. And once I do that, I will go ahead and prep the actual hair for style.
the style we'll be doing today will be the big back part down the middle with the two space buns. So I will go ahead and start by uh, parting the hair in the zigzag in the middle first and then I will work my way on each section um, for the space bun. I will also be pulling down the section for the baby hairs and also leave my little hair out on the sides. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and work with one side at a time. That's usually what I do when I'm doing like a double-sided style. So I'm just gonna, after, well, after I did the zigzag part, I just, you know, part of the hair off the back on this side and applied the wax. I can go ahead and sleep the hair to cover up the tracks. Then I'm gonna pull um, the hair out on the side that I'm gonna leave hanging down, um, hot comb and sleek up the ponytail part and just kind of prep it to be uh, sleeked up and also lay down the baby hairs for this side. And once I finish completely getting everything laid on this side, I will repeat it to the other side. going to go ahead and pull down the section for the baby hair starting with the side brand and then I'm going to pull out a few pieces well one piece um, where the um, where the space bun is going to be And now I'm gonna go ahead and hot comb that down. And then um, once I finish hot combing it, I will go ahead and take the rubber band and um, a little holding spray and spray it on there and uh, put the hair onto the ponytail.
and this is what it looks like after being fully prepped and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side now I'm um, starting with the baby hair putting it out the way then hot combing and um, um, using holding spray to sleek up the ponytail before we actually create the space bars So now I'm gonna go ahead and tie down the lace with the milk belt and let that sit for a few minutes. And then um, once that's finished sitting, we will go ahead and create the space buns and you know, do the baby hairs and everything else. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I create the space bun. So first thing I do is actually comb the hair out. Then I start to tease the hair moving in a downward motion, basically just taking a comb and pushing the hair downward to create like this little fuzz ball type of look. And then I basically just bend the, um, the hair down and then I take the end piece and just wrap it around the end. The same way you would do if you was doing like a regular ponytail, you had to do the little wrap around part. So is that's just pretty much what I do. It's very quick, very simple, very easy. I'm gonna show you again on the other side. You just comb the hair out, then you comb the hair downward in a teasing motion, bend it downwards um, to create like that little bun look, and then you use the end of it to do your wrap around. And now I'm gonna kind of secure the space bun to the actual wig just by taking some bobby pins and pinning down the ends on both sides of the wig. And boom, yep. 
through that for both sides. And now we're gonna go ahead and remove that melt belt and create the baby hairs. We're also going to, um, you know, do the zigzag part and all that, like clean it up with the concealer. But we're just gonna go ahead and slip these baby hairs really quick. I'm gonna do that little uh, curl baby hair in the center, but this is what the wig looks like. Sorry, y'all, my bad, y'all. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that little baby hair in the center. Um, like the one everybody been doing, like that one little swirl in the center, and I'm just gonna do my basic little side swoops and curl sideburn uh, baby hair look. But yeah, y'all see me picking into the waist. All right, so yeah, let's get to it. Comb the hair out, cut it short, curl it, and swoop it. And I will be using my um, glueless lace gel, so stay tuned. size swoop here um, just a basic regular swoop and I just cut it curled it and used the gel and now I'm gonna do the sideburn and I'm just gonna cut it curl it and uh, swoop it into like that you know circle little motion on the end like a little horseshoe baby here
And of course, you already know we're gonna repeat the same thing to the other side. Cut, curl, use the gel, and swing. I'm going to go ahead and conceal the part up before tying it down again. I'm just taking the same color foundation I used for the lace and just, you know, went through all the parts of the zigzag and the little side parts on the side just to define them a little more so they can really pop out um, and stand out for the style. And then I'm going to spread the hairline down once again, just lightly spraying it across the top and then tying it down with the melt belt. But once I remove that melt belt, that will complete this whole style and look. It will be the finishing touches on this whole style so let me know what you guys think down below once again this hair is from IBM hair I define natural this is their curly bob HD lace wig super loved it 13 by 4 for party space so check out the description details down below let me know what you guys think about this style.